Uh, well, let's turn to the present situation now that we're free to see the problems of the world without the shackles of the Cold War and to show our constant face without Cold War distortions. In particular, we're now able to see the problems of the world's impoverished nations. Accordingly, uh, Washington has uh, announced further cuts in its foreign aid, which is an international scandal. It's the most miserly in the developed world, and it would be virtually invisible uh, if we were to remove the biggest component, uh, which goes to a very rich country, uh, Israel, and that incidentally stays high uh, and unchanged. Uh, uh, it also happens, incidentally, to be the component of the foreign aid budget that's most opposed, most strongly opposed by the public. Uh, side comment. Uh, in general, public opinion and policy are not very well correlated. There are usually pretty substantial differences between them. But the current period is marked by an astonishing dis difference. It's become a real chasm. Uh, I doubt if there's a period in history when the divergence between public opinion, which is well known from many attitude studies, between public opinion and policy has been so dramatic and so marked as in the present period. That's one indication of the deterioration of functioning democracy that's a very marked and striking uh, feature of the contemporary era here dramatically and to some extent in other places. Uh, well, the current Congress has cut further the ridiculously low aid budget, uh, leaving intact only one component, aid to Israel and Egypt, which is about the same thing, Egypt, because of its relation to Israel. Uh, that now amounts to 40 percent of the total. Uh, however, there's a one-third cut in aid for education, health care, family planning, and environmental protection in poor nations, and a 40 percent cut just announced in U.S. Uh, contribution to low-interest loans to poor countries through the World Bank. Uh, that's all because we are now free to uh, uh, view the problems of impoverished nations without the distortion of the Cold War. Uh, that's only part of the story. The United States is always, al also busy continuing, in fact, uh, escalating its dismantling of the more democratic aspects of the United Nations. Uh, it's recently uh, announced that it's going to cut probably terminate its contribution to the United Nations Industrial Development Organization. The uh, FAO, Food, Food and Agriculture Organization, is on the way out. The International Labor Organization is not likely to survive very long, uh, for one thing because it committed a rather serious transgression a couple of years ago. Uh, it departed from its usual practice. It almost never criticizes one of the rich, its rich donors, but it did condemned the United States a couple of years for its severe violations of, uh, sta of international labor conventions by permitting the hiring of uh, permanent replacement workers to break strikes, and that's a crime for which you don't, uh, uh, you, know, you have to have uh, proper retribution, so they're probably on the way out. Uh, incidentally, the United States has the worst third, wor to be precise, the third worst record in Europe and uh, the Western Hemisphere. Uh, in uh, rec accepting uh, international labor conventions. Uh, uh, there are two worse, uh, Lithuania and El Salvador, so we're not at the bottom. Uh, but in any event, there's good reasons for the ILO to go. One can understand Jesse Helms. Uh, they're all headed for uh, extinction uh, because the U.S. refuses to pay its legally required uh, uh, funding for them. Uh, UNCTAD is also on the way out. UNCTAD provides expert economic analysis about the international scene, but it happens to conflict with the IMF World Bank orthodoxy and often to undermine it, so that has to go. Uh, the UN did have uh, an, uh, 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 a, a group which monitored and provided data about transnational corporations. In fact, it was about the only source of such information that's already dead. Uh, and in fact, quite generally, uh, any part of the United Nations that serves the interests of people and not investors uh, is on its way out.